Wednesday, September 28th, 2022. There's Privy Digging Ponnel Paul. <laughs> He's got a Privy probed out here. And we are in Springfield, Illinois at a friend's house where we got permission to dig here, backyard, and we're going to bring you with us on this adventure. Paul said he hit, he hit glass down in there? Yeah, a few glass strikes down in there about four foot or so. All right. Well, we're... Yep, right there. All right. And I think he said he hit another one back over here in the corner. And then we come around over here. Dogs kind of tramp down this area. And I've got one probed out here. So, anyway, it's probing over on this side. You see where I got a line there? That's outside of it. So there's a wall somewhere right in there. I can tell, so I haven't really probed it much yet. The ground is really hard and dry here. Haven't had any rain for a while, but uh, anyway, looking up to the house, uh, the owner says the house was built in 1890, and that's probably about right. We're not in an older neighborhood here, so we're we're in a neighborhood that's probably around 1890s. There are, there are scattered houses though that are a little older, so we're hoping maybe we'll get lucky and might be a little older. We'll take what we can get, though, won't we, Paul? Yeah. It's been, been a while since we've been digging privy. Yeah. We, last videos we only had of the the dump, jug dump up there. Yeah. So it's kind of nice to get back to privy digging, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Let's see what we're going to find today. I'm going to be helping the owner with a couple projects. So I'll come back to Paul when I get done. But at least we'll get started here. and. Hope you stay along for the adventure. We'll be getting more videos out. Apologize for not getting anything out for a while. We were really busy, and Paul's been busy with the kids, and we've had a lot going on, so and here we go. See about some privies. And there's Paul still digging away. Yeah. Down in there. About three feet or so at least. Yeah, it's still a clay plug. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Yeah, oop. Crunchy down there. No sign of anything yet. See, it's just a hard pack of clay there. <coughs> Mixed in some ashes. Something in there broken. Is there? You see, it's something here. Yeah. Oh, that was a. Oh, it was a Coney. 1890s Coney. Hey, how about that? Yeah. Tops. I guess I broke it. It's a, oh, I probably it's our, heard it on the video. I crunched it. <laughs> it's our first. But that's pretty good. Yeah, our first little sign of the day there, going through that hard clay. Could potentially be before turn of the century. Yeah. Oh, that better stop. <laughs> There's a trash layer there. Over here, he's starting to hit into some trash. So far, I'm not hitting anything. I'm hitting about the same fill here. Yeah. It's a hard packed clay and down in there about four feet. Got a root there I'm trying not to cut, so but we'll get back since we hit something here. Yeah, I'm getting down to this seed layer, as we call it, the use layer, down in the bottom here. The little fruit jar liner. That's all that's left of the fruit jar lid. All the zinc's gone. But I uh, hit a couple things here. Of course, the first thing I hit was about what we normally hit in our dump, about a 1912, 1915 era dried beef or jelly glass had part of a label on it some old flow blue pieces here hit a drugstore bottle it's slick but it's got the measurements on it's got patent date on the bottom and hit a little nice turn of the century 1890s half pint whiskey flask so and right down there's a little bottle down in there just as I was coming out of the hole it came out of the side so I don't know what that is but we'll get down there right away it's down right about six foot down about the bottom and coming over here to Paul, he just hit his first keeper. What'd you get over here? Yeah, it was a nice druggist from Springfield. Just oh, yeah. R.W. Diller Veteran Druggist. Oh, that's a good one, yeah. Yeah, it's in Diller. good condition. Sure is. Yeah, that guy, uh, his name was Roland W. Diller. He was actually a, a personal friend of Abraham Lincoln. And before Lincoln went off to, uh, he after he won the presidency in 1860, um, <clears throat> he went to the White House, of course, moved from Springfield here, where it was his home, and this was uh, his friend. He used to go to this drugstore, 
and this one says R.W. Diller, veteran druggist. And um, anyway, during uh, Lincoln's stay in the White House, because the Civil War was raging in the 1860s, uh, stories told of a, one of the most favorite visits that Abraham Lincoln ever got while he was in the White House was from his old friend from Springfield, Illinois, Roland W. Diller, who ran this drugstore. And uh, so anyway, I just thought that was kind of interesting. You can read about it online. It's a good story. But, uh, I think that drug is, I think it's got an 1892 or something patent date on the Big bottom. Bottle right here. Oh, there. is there? Big amber bottle. Hey, let's see what Paul's got going. A couple yeah. bottles. Oh, yeah, look at that sticking out of that clay in there. What in the world is I that? I don't know what that is, actually. Oh. Oh, it's one of them straps. Uh, yeah. Oh, it <laughs> looked good for a minute. That's definitely early 90s. Here. It is nice. Yeah, look at that. It's got the water in it. Sure does, yeah. Old amber strap side <clears throat> medicine. Big one. Real hard digging in that clay. You seen a while ago when we first started into it, it's easy to crunch into something, you know, because you got to chop to get through that clay. That's yeah. right close to the trash layer. Okay. Oh, it's just a random pocket. Yeah, boy, it's just hard going there, isn't but it? But I'm close to where the... Where the oh, rig good. All right, well, it's a good start there, that dealer. It's a nice bottle. Yeah, there's something else down there. All right. Right here, it's, ooh, sounds good. You hear that little kunk? There's See seeds the, right there. Yeah, seed, that's the old use layer. It's being used as an outhouse oh, privy. Oh, <laughs> sure was. Fancy. Had a little design on it, wasn't it? Yeah. That'd have been cute. Look at that little pitcher. Little red berries, got some maker's yeah, look, mark. There's a pumpkin pattern flask. mark. Hey, look at that, a little cute one. Oh, All that's right. cool. We don't that's find nice. many small ones like that. Yeah, you got to get back in the 1880s, early 90s to hit them well, around here. This must here. be 80s then. Yeah, late All 80s, right. early 90s. I'd love to find them. That's a nice little find. Yeah, good. Come over here, get a little better picture down there, get out of the shop in fact. Ooh, it's looking good down there, Paul. Yeah, trashy on that back wall. Trashy, getting into some stoneware. Might have to move get a, more dirt. Get a tea leaf uh, pitcher here while we go, a cream pitcher. Alfred Meekin, it says on the bottom. You can see there was uh, seeds when we first pulled out. There was a little saucer with some seeds like from tomatoes and bread, breads and berries and stuff that people ate, passed through their system. The chimney off an old... Uh, There's another bottle. Uh oh, it turns yeah. upside is, down. It's another. Is that another is? dealer? Maybe. Could it's it be? different. Oh, oh, it is. Chester Bowles or Bowles. All right, Chester Bowles. Pharmacist. Yeah. All right, Paul. That's really a good odds. Two it out of sure two. Sure is. Drugs Red. Nice. That don't happen to us that very shows often. The age. There's another ball. All right, Chester Bowles. Paul's getting into them here. Boy, they're Ooh. just right there at the top of that clay, aren't they? Yeah, I got a hand digger here if you need it too. It's slick. Yeah, and we're pretty adept at finding slicks now. But that's pretty good odds there, though, so far. Sure it is. It's pretty good, yeah. That one's broke. And that one crunched anyway. But it's unembossed. Yeah, it's a slick. Yeah. Oh, there's one standing up right there. Oh, look at that, right in the wall there. Sure is. Oh, it's got a hole oh. in it, but that was another R.W. Diller. Was it? Oh. A smaller one. Yeah. A little bit smaller one. Sure was. Ain't that oh. a shame. Yep. Nope. Still pockets there, but. Yeah. Have to dig around more. All right. Well, good. At least we're hitting some stuff. I'm going to go over there and see what's in my hole. Yeah. yeah. Paul's got the old one, though. As far as on this lot, I think we don't think we're going to get any older than 1890. But that's all right. I'll take it. Getting some bottles. It's exciting just to be digging privies. It sure is. <laughs> yeah. We got some privy digging to do, so let's hope we can get into a good streak now. This is the first of many here for us. Yeah. Back over here. See what's down in my hole. 
So I'm going to jump down in there, and if I hit anything good, I'll turn the camera on. Okay, I'll bring you with me down here in the bottom of this one. We're down here about six feet. And you can see I don't have it opened up very much yet, so there's still probably a lot of hole. You can see my feet down there, so not very big, but there's something sticking out right here. I don't know what it is, but let's together see what that one is. Oh, it's just a glass, I see. Okay, it's just like a and dried beef glasses or something. At least it's got some ribs on it. Oh, that's pretty neat. That would be nice turned amethyst and ribs. Let's see if I can set that aside here. See if there's anything else down in here. It's kind of hard packed stuff. Not a whole lot of bottles right, this, right in here. This is probably the back wall right here. Back towards the alley. Some chicken bones. That's soft. Stuff in there isn't trashy. See there's little pieces of cups and stuff like that in there. More chicken bones right there. They like to eat chicken. You can tell a lot about their diet, you know, stuff that people threw away in these privies. Oh, there's something in, you know. Is that? I think it's a piece of coal. Oh, there's something underneath it, though. Let's see if we can get that. Ooh, it's a hutch. Yeah, Paul just pulled one out broken over there. The Johnson Peterson, which is probably 1880s. Let's see what this hole's a little bit newer, so let's see what this one is. At least it's a hutch and it's embossed. Yay! Oh, it's cool. I like hitting hutches. You don't hit many of them in our dump. It's just a little bit too new. It's probably like just after early 1900s once in a while we hit a hutch up there but all right here we go what is it and it is a uh, ww clutter springfield all right yeah that looks like a nice one nice old hutch he later on had the coca-cola bottling rights here in springfield oh i wish this one would say hey does that say coca-cola there wait a minute script coca-cola hutch no <laughs> When that I saw, boy, that'd be a cool one. All right. Well, I'm just glad to get the hutch. The stoppers fell down inside of it. Kind of hear it in there. So, yay. Well, 1890s, early 1900. Blob hutch. Let's see if there's anything else before we quit. Yeah, it's kind of hard to dig. I got to open it up a little bit. It's hard to dig in here. There's broken, broken stuff up all in here. I'm going down towards the bottom here. I don't know if there's anything else down in there, but we'll go down here and see. So, all right. Well, stay with us. I'll go over and check on Paul here in a minute. All right. Paul's over here pulling them out. What'd you get? Yeah, it's electric bitters. Yeah. Nice small size one. Older one. From Chicago. Yeah, nice 18, early 90s probably. Later on, they put the word brand in there. Electric brand. The older ones... See electric bitters. They're all from H.E. Buckland and Company. Oh wow, look at all that. Fruit jars, it looks like a wax sealer. Yeah, sure is. Black glass piece of yellow, man. What else he hit over here's that broken hutch he hit, the Johnson and Peterson. And there's a Boshi's German syrup. Oh, and a drug this glass with nothing on it. Except for the measurements. That's cool, it was whole though. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at there. A little yellowware bowl. It's got some little decoration, sawtooth decoration on it. Look at all the seeds coming out of there. That nice old food bottle, maybe. There's a, one of the English ales or mineral water. Coffin flask. Yeah. It's got some cracking. Oh. I have a pint coffin flask. Yeah, it looks like a wax sealer here with some kind of a mark on it. Yeah, I can't quite make out what it was. Yeah, I'm definitely hitting some 80s stuff in there. Let's see what he's got down in there. Kind of hard packed, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a little layer that's a off little. the bottom. Yeah. All right. Well, good. At least you're hitting some bottles in it. Yeah. Encouraging. Yeah, I'm gonna come around here and see 
I mean, we watch our back dirt pretty good. Let me go through it again. It's good to check. There's a top to that pickle. We pulled out a minute ago. Bottom of another broken fruit jar. Patent dates on it. There's a little vial. <laughs> little vial has got a top chipped on it. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I had to run out and help the property owner here and run some errands and just now got back. Paul was done with this hole. He got a few more things here. He did get a nice hutch. Got one of them that was broken, Johnson Peterson, and he got a good one. Still got the top in it, probably 1880s, old Clyde Donut Hutch collar, and he got a Sealy's. That's all it says, I guess, Sealy's. A couple little medicines there, and a few other things there, but anyway, he started into another hole here in a corner. Feel some glass down in it? Yeah, it felt about like that other one, so. Okay. Let's see, let's see what's get, in it. It's down in that about three foot. Yeah, I'm gonna open it a little more that way. All right. But, oh, we're gonna go get something to eat. It's getting late, it's after two o'clock, so we're gonna grab a bite to eat and we'll come back. Get back to it. Yeah. All right, Digger Dave's back in the <laughs> hole. Yep, I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm getting down on the bottom here, so kind of sitting down on the job. Pulled out a little um, Dr. Bell's Pine Tar Honey. It's Dr. Bell's Pine Tar Honey from the E.E. E. Sutherland Medicine Company, Paducah, Kentucky. All right. Yeah, nice little hand-blown bottle, and then also got another hutch. All right, you did. It's another W.W. Clutter, so yeah. Well, it's being productive. Yeah, so let's see if there's anything else down in there. Just kind of working along the back wall there. Not a whole lot in it, but a few little bottles. Yeah. Kind of nice because I can shovel out, you know. I can just kind of like wing it out here like that. Yeah, good position there. Yeah, it's a good sitting position, you know, with a little small shelf. It don't wear you out as fast. No. But maybe there'll be something under where I'm sitting here yet, too. Let's see if there's anything up in here. It's just not real bottle rich, but we'll take what we can get, huh? Yeah. We got that one hole finished up pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's it. There's a wall there. Clay wall. Man. Boy, I don't see nothing else there. It's like there's a little pocket there, and that was about it. It's broken window glass here. Well, maybe there'll be some under your step where you're yeah, sitting. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of hoping. If we go back that way, we'll hit something there. All right, well, we'll have to dig this out, so. Yeah, we'll get back to you <sighs> soon. Yeah. All right. All right, Paul's taking a break. He's still digging on that hole in the corner there. And look who we got here. We got a special Hi. guest digger. Just digging away. So it's showing. Come in after work here. Look what she's been finding. I found, what, three? Yeah. Or four. She's I'm found three or four of these little... 1870s pill vials in the back dirt here. Yeah. I've been throwing out here and she's been finding this them. This is the tiniest one. And this is actually the oldest hole we've hit yet. It looks like 1870s. Mm -hmm. There's a couple older drugstore bottles here. And the little pill vials have got flared lips on them. See the real early flared lip then? And uh, this bottle here, it's got the neck broken off of it. It was a drugstore bottle. It had GW on the bottom and that stands for Great Western Glass Company. It was out of St. Louis, which is like 1870s. And uh, about an 1870s, early 80s paneled medicine there. Another flared lip vial. So yeah, but Shelly's been finding them yeah. in the back dirt, so. <laughs> All right, well, we just got a little shallow one here. So it is the oldest one, probably 
early 1880s, so it's a little older than what we thought the house was, so that's cool. Oh, my iron stone there. So, all right, we'll come back if we hit anything else. Paul's back to work over here. <laughs> yep. Just turned the camera off, and Paul pulled out a real nice early flower pot. Look at that. Yeah, a little redware one. Yeah. It's one of the older styles with just a squared off top, hand thrown. Or I guess, I don't know. Yeah, that's an older style flower pot. Nice little redware, unglazed. Cool. Hopefully, oh, he had another broken soap dish. He had one of them earlier. Is it an iron star? Yeah. Let's see what's going on over here. He had a broken hutch soda. Was, a, was that a grant? Yeah. Tombstone Grand slug company. plate, Grant yeah, and Company Grant from and Springfield. Company. Yep, that was a different one yet then. We get two uh, Johnson and Petersons and two WW Clutters. We get a broken Grant there. All right, well, let's hope we hit a couple more. It's getting kind of late in the day, but we're just going to finish up. Shelly's <laughs> taking care of the back dirt here, finding vials, so hey. Oh, that would been nice. Look at that. That was a lamp. That was a lamp. Mm-hmm. Yep. That was a nice old white ribbed, like opalescent lamp. That would have been really nice. All right. Yeah. Shelly's trying to get down in that little one-foot square hole, so... It's little Shelly. Like <laughs> It'd be a contortionist. I couldn't believe you got in there. I was just saying maybe you could dig it from the top. I can't. There's a little bottle sticking out down in there. <laughs> it's stuck right in this real hard packed clay though, so it's hard to get out. Oh really? She's gonna try to grab it. Yep. I got much got easier. It. There it is. Hey. hey, that is an old one. Look at that. Is that an applied lip on there? It sure is, I think. Yeah, that's like 1870s or 80s. Oh, there's another vial. Hey, cool. I just can't read it. Well, oh, I wish this would have something on it, but it doesn't look like it does. Nice old 1880 bottle. Ain't that a shame, but at least it's whole. Post mold bottom. Shelly's pulling out these little vials, isn't that something? Yeah. Hey, look at that. You got two bottles. I just can't use. Oh, and it's a slick. A shovel. Look at that. Another little. Gotta be talented. Definitely 1880s. Another little vial. Cool. Now <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know what's down in there. Might be a little right. bit on them walls. Well, it's four privies here. We got the two over there. We got them filled in. They're all. Up here about oh we're off the back so huh. Paul's hole's not producing over here. We was hoping that was gonna be a good hole. It's going down deep, but there's not many whole bottles in it. Oh. So that's beyond our control. Nice rich brown dirt. Got a broken iron stone in it. And cups. Sounds like another bottle. Tumblers. Oh, is there? Yep. There's another broken tumbler. He's hit like five or six of those. I just did that one. Oh, iron stone bowls. <laughs> oh, it's not. Sorry. Oh, is it broken? Yeah, piece it's just one. a piece of glass. Yeah. Oh, did you hit another broken hutch? There's another grant, yep. Oh, a grant. Wow. Well, we just can't get a whole one. All right. I'm glad to have Shelly with us. Finish yeah. out the day here. It's good to be outside and enjoying yeah. the day. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful day today. We better enjoy it because you never know. It's yeah. going to start getting cold. Mm -hmm. Good to be digging privies again, though. Yeah. I'm going to try to dig some more. That's different, huh? Yeah. <sighs> Mosquitoes are coming out. They haven't left yet. <laughs> Usually once it starts freezing. We were close. It got into the upper 30s, I thought, last night or night before. 
Yeah. It's pretty cool. We haven't turned our furnace on yet. <laughs> Made to think about it though, didn't Yeah. You? Oh, come on, Paul. There's got to be something in there. Another broken Grant and Company. Yep. It's the bottom of it. Grant and Company Hutch has got a big G on the bottom of them. Broke. Hmm. Think they broke them on purpose? Fruit jar. Oh, I doubt it. Looks like a big half gallon jar. Oh, we got a squirrel up there barking at us. <laughs> Little squirrel barking. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm back with Digger Dave. Michelle's just finishing up Paul's hole. It's a nice uh, sugar bowl. Unfortunately, it had a hole in the back of it. <laughs> that was a nice 1880s pattern glass sugar bowl. It displays good from that side, though, don't it? Yeah. And a broken plate, hand painted. Looks like, I don't know, some kind of a green berry, fruit, or something on it. I'm not sure what that is, an avocado. Oh, porcelain plate, though, probably 1870s. Yeah, I got a, we got a Piso's Cure for consumption. It was one of the older ones in Aqua. The later ones are green. And a slick extract bottle. A couple ironstone plates all beat up. But they're probably American made. Nice mark on it with an eagle and stuff. That usually means that they were made in the United States. But uh, that was about it. So we're going to fill it in and finish up here. So. All right. <laughs> All right, just finishing up here. We finished up in the bottom. It was about a little over three foot deep, actually, in this one. It's just a little small privy, but it was actually the oldest on the lot. Look down at it. And um, showed them vials come out here earlier. We did get a pumpkin seed flask out of here in the early 1880s. And there was a broken ABC plate. Didn't get enough to see what was on it. It was a broken, uh, it was actually CC and Company, it's Con Carl Conrad and Company. That was one of the very first Budweiser bottles. It was just had the Conrad and Company on the bottom. But a couple cool ones was a, uh, can't, I can't see it very good, but from CM Smith's Reliable Pharmacy, Springfield. Uh, excuse me, see if we can show it now. Still can't see it there very good. But that's a pretty scarce one, and here's a really rare one. It's actually one that I hadn't seen before. What did that say, Paul? Brown and Wilson Laboratory? I think so. Brown and Wilson Laboratory? Something Brown Springfield. Brown and Wilson Laboratory. Yep, and it's got the emblem and then Springfield. Yeah, it's got a nice B&W emblem on it, Springfield, and with a sunken panel. It's like a rectangular, probably a patent medicine bottle. Probably not actually a drugstore. But I've been seen Brown and Wilson's uh, bottles before. Got three or four different ones, but didn't have this one. So that was exciting. One of the last bottles out, too, wasn't it, Paul? Yeah. So that was pretty cool. So, all right. Well, we're going to fill it in and call it a day, I think. All right. Got done with our dig and back home here. Haven't washed things up yet, but just wanted to especially thank everybody for your patience with us and staying with us. Can't believe anybody's still watching our channel and watching our digs because we haven't really been doing anything and you know, all we've been doing is digging up there in our dump. But anyway, it was nice yesterday to get out and dig some privies and uh, Paul and I, well, and Shelly came in there at the last. We got four privies uh, finished. So uh, this is all we got here. I'll show that. Kind of a little different format here. I usually show it in the windows, and I probably will be back to that because it's going to be getting cold here before long. But for right now, um, just showing a little bit of stuff outside here. Um, we got a bunch of slicks, as you can see. Of course, I always find those. Some real pretty uh, bowls here that were broken. They got nice back marks on them. But um, anyway, I think there was at least a couple different ones. I don't know if that will go together or not. And some flow blue here, nice flow blue plate. Uh, whiskey and fruit jar lids. Here's that little uh, redware flower pot that Paul dug out. It's a nice older one, it's probably from 1860s or 70s. 
and uh, Shelly found these little flared lip vials uh, there in that last hole, was, uh, which was the old ones, probably 1870s, early 80s. Uh, it was kind of nice to get some of those. Uh, broken ABC plate. This was, uh, I'm not sure what it was, but it's cool. It's got like a, it's a bird. It's an iron stone. Not sure if it was a handle or if it broke off of something. Almost looks like it might have been a handle off of a lid. Maybe, I don't know. But, yeah, it's pretty cool though. It's got the rest of it gone, but... <clears throat> and then another piece of ironstone. This was definitely a finial, uh, like a handle, you know, off a lid. And a little caster wheel. Bottom of a dresser or something roller thing there. There's some other slicks. Nice little pumpkin seed flask. A tumbler there. A broken sugar bowl. Nice double handles. Little Sealy's bottle there. Probably a medicine or something. I think that's from Abilene, Kansas. Paul hit that nice big strap side medicine. Got two of these Johnson and Peterson Springfield hutches. Oh man, we got a pair of WW Clutter hutches. So at least we got some sodas. Those are from late 1890s. Uh, these Johnson and Petersons could be back a little bit older, maybe back into the late 80s. And not probably one of our best bottles. We've got a electric bitters. And as I was mentioning when we dug it, this is one of the older ones that uh, before they used the word brand, later on they put the word brand in there. But this is an older one from late 80s or early 1890s. Uh, Dr. Boschy's German syrup from LM Green. And another little pumpkin seed flask. A little cute one there. A little pocket flask from 1880s. And there's a brass wheel of some kind. See, it's got teeth on the outside, so it's some kind of a gear. That's kind of interesting, like cross pattern in the middle. This would have been a pretty plate, wouldn't it? Not sure what that is, whether that's an avocado, or maybe somebody knows what that is. That was porcelain, 1870s. Pisos Cure for Consumption, Hazeltine and Company. This bottle was very, very popular throughout the country, and it had cannabis in it. One of its main ingredients. There's a little footed dose glass. It's got the measurements here. You can't hardly see very good, but wished it would have had a druggist on it. Ain't that a shame? But at least it's whole. I was glad of that. Yeah, this is one that came out of my little hole there. Dr. Bell's Pine Tar Honey. E.E. E. Sutherland Medicine Company, Paducah, Kentucky. That's a popular bottle. It's a small size. It comes in a larger size. Also comes in a smaller one, a little free sample bottle of that. And um, this was our best find of the day, or my favorite. Um, I've dug bottles in Springfield for many, many years, over 30 or 40 years, and I've never seen this bottle before. It's a Brown and Wilson Laboratory, Springfield, Illinois, with a B&W monogram on a sunken panel. Man, that's cool. So that's like 18, probably uh, late 70s or early 1880s. I was really excited to get that. Um, probably let, have Paul have just about everything else because I just want that bottle. <laughs> this is another really scarce drugstore bottle from Springfield from C.M. Smith's Reliable Pharmacy, Springfield, Illinois. And it's got a mortar and pestle there, symbol of a drugstore. And again, it's a nice early 1880s bottle. Again, a very hard one to find, very few of those. And another drugstore bottle, this is from the 1890s. Chester Bowles Pharmacist, Springfield, Illinois. That's a nice one. It's probably got 1892 patent date on the bottom. Looks like that style. I just can't read it right in here. And also a pretty scarce one, R.W. Diller, Veteran Druggist, Springfield, Illinois. He was a personal friend of Abraham Lincoln. So anyway, that was it was a nice day. We Nothing earth-shattering, but we had fun, enjoyed it. So we appreciate all of you watching. We're going to be getting more privy digs out here real soon. And even though Paul's real busy, we're going to try to get, get freed up and have some digs. And thank you for watching. And we pray for the folks down there in Florida. We ask everybody to keep them in our thoughts and prayers. This Hurricane Ian that hit there and it's still causing a lot of damage as we speak. Here we are in beautiful, uh, sunny 
part of the country here we don't have anything like that and so we just remember all those folks there's people lost their lives and their homes and damaged and you know it could be us next time so we just remember them pray for our country you know the elections coming up we pray that everybody get registered and get out and vote because we can change things we can turn our country around and and anyway you just keep keep everybody in your prayers and all right well thanks again for watching uh, we'll post our contact information here at the end for both uh, Paul and Shelly and myself and keep uh, Paul in your prayers with the kids got a lot going on there a lot of responsibility as Bunny and Lily started into school now and they will be uh, seeing you in the next video